OpenAI just introduced and released plugins for ChatGPT, and this basically gives you ton of new tools and ton of different capabilities for ChatGPT you're gonna find super useful. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to activate it to see if you have these plugins for your ChatGPT account, how to unlock it, and lots of other options available to you. So first, log in to your ChatGPT account. If you don't have the plus version of ChatGPT, you do need this for plugins. So you do have to upgrade. This is the paid version of ChatGPT that gives you ChatGPT4, and it also gives you these plugins that I'm gonna show you in a second. Now to activate them, come down here and click the three dots, and then go to settings. And here, if you go to the beta features, now this is rolling out as a beta to all paid members, you will activate plugins right here. So make sure this is checked on. If you're not getting this yet, it's not available yet to your account. So you have to wait and then refer back to this video, but I'll show you exactly what it is too. So once you get it, you know exactly how to use it. So this is gonna activate it. Then right here, if I'm on 3.5, this is the free version of it that I could also use as a plus member, but I won't see any plugins. You see, there's no plugins. This one has this little icon for plugins. And if I go down here, you see plugins in beta is checked on. Okay, so I check this on. And then as soon as I check this on, I get this little section right over here. You'll also get a pop-up that tells you more about plugins. So plugins are powered by third-party application. They're not controlled by OpenAI. And then it says plugins basically connect ChatGPT to external apps. I'll show you some examples. And ChatGPT automatically chooses when to use a plugin. So you don't have to say activate this plugin. As soon as you activate it in your account, every time that plugin comes in handy when you ask ChatGPT a question, it will just activate it automatically. Now by default, nothing will be here. You have to go to the plugin store and add them. So I have two out of three. Now three could be enabled at any time, but you could turn them off and add new ones to test them out. There are a ton of different plugins. Inside of the plugin store, you could see all the different plugins. So on the bottom, I could basically change different pages to see all kinds of different plugins. But one of my favorite options here is most popular. So you could see what the most popular plugins are right now as you're watching the video. And right now, these are the top eight most popular plugins. And I'm gonna make a complete video that I'll post tomorrow to show you an overview of the top plugins. So I'll play around with about 80, 90 of the plugins that are available right now. And then I'll make a complete tutorial on which one I think are most useful. But most popular would be a good place to start. So this one gives you access to some real-time information. Okay, I'll show you what that is, but this is super, super useful. It's a little bit like getting access to the internet, something ChatGPT doesn't have yet. I still don't have the web browsing version. That's still not available to me. That's coming soon too. Then you have Kayak here, so you could book flights, for example. So I'll show you that right now. So if you go over here, make sure you enable those plugins. So you see, I have to check these on, they're enabled. Now I could use ChatGPT as I normally would, but look what it does. I'm gonna ask it, what's the weather today? It normally wouldn't know that, right? Because it doesn't have internet access and it's trained on older data. So how would it know information from today? Well, it by default, it just clicked on this plugin. The latest recorded weather in Chicago is 63 degrees. Okay, so that's today's temperature. Now I'm gonna ask it, what's the date today to make sure it knows that as well, right? It wouldn't know this otherwise, but now it knows exactly what the date is. Now what I could do next is, I'm gonna use the other plugin. I'm gonna say, book me a flight from Chicago to LA. Okay, I'll press enter. And it's gonna probably ask me some follow-up questions because I didn't give it enough information but he will try to use kayak right here. So it says, when is your departure? So I'm gonna say it's 5.30. And he found a flight just for me on 5.30. Sometimes he asked me if I want a round trip flight, if other people are flying with me, you could give it that information, again, to make your search more complete. But as you could see in text format, he gave me the price for nonstop flights here. And it's gonna tell me exactly when a flight is leaving, when it's returning. And then it's gonna give me an exact link here that I could click right here to book that flight through this plugin, this kayak plugin, and a bunch of their plugins do these kind of things. They basically do all the research for you from these platforms, give you the information in text format, and make it really, really easy to book flights and things like that using ChatGPT. And they also have this blog post, ChatGPT plugins blog post, that goes much deeper in all the different aspects of the plugins and shows you what some of the most popular ones do. 
but I'll do my own research, I'll try every single one, and I'll follow this up with a video to show you some of my favorite plugins in the next video. I hope you found this useful, I'll see you next time.